Go get her. Go get her. Go get her. So you guys saw my meal prep from Friday. Today's meal prep. <laughs> Taco Bell. What? One of the burritos is naked. Wait, what? Where's your wrapper? What? It got naked in the bag. Here. That is weird. Here you go. Good. Yes. All right, guys. Welcome to our home. Welcome to today's video. Today, I had a, a comment. It was a couple weeks ago. They asked us if we have any regrets um, with RV living and when we bought the RV. So I guess if we would do anything different. And to build on that question, I wanted to add in, had we known what we were going to go through last year, um, the things that kept us from traveling and still kind of keep us from traveling, would we change anything? Does that make sense? Yeah. So basically, if I knew that I was going to break my leg and that we would be then financially strapped because of medical payments, would we have still traveled? No. I mean, would we We would still travel. bought it? <laughs> would we have bought the RV? Yeah. And if would we do anything different? You want me to start? Yeah. All right. So yeah, uh, I don't think I would change anything because we always wanted to do the whole minimalist lifestyle. Um, I got tired of having things, so I mean that was really the first thing, like that was the first appeal to it. And so we uh, went out, sold everything, and bought an RV and moved into that, and it all worked out. I mean, and it was it was great for the first couple of months, and I mean it still is now, but I'm talking about the traveling side. Um, it, it was nice just being able to kind of explore, like. Am I hooking this up right? Am I traveling right? Like, mm -hmm. am I in the right lane for this kind of thing? Like, what am I doing? And now I feel confident in all of that. And even backing in, I'm pretty good at it. So, um, yeah, the whole actual, like, living in an RV and being able to do everything, I think we have it down. Like, we, and even whenever I had the broken leg, even going through all these seasons, we've learned a lot. Um, like, we, we know what we're doing on this thing. And so maybe we needed the time where we're stable in one spot to learn about it. Um, well, you know, I mean, we're already, you know, hurt, I guess, and so why add on, like, other issues, like, if we're traveling somewhere and something breaks yeah. down, it's like, okay, now we have to pay for this, and somehow maybe limp back home, uh, you know, from <laughs> Colorado or wherever we go, you know, and so, but in the end, it's like, yeah, it's it was a good decision, because now we're not paying all that much, I mean, yeah, we're paying for other things that would have happened either way, more than likely, with the whole broken leg thing, like, you just... You just take those hits as they come, um, but we were able to take that hit because we downsized, and so it was great timing. Um, it, was, it was actually perfect. And then even now, like I feel like we're good to go. Like I, I think I'm pretty much back on my feet, almost done paying medical, um, and then we have the RV and we feel pretty confident in it. And why not? Why not go somewhere? Yeah. Why? Why not? Yeah. Oh well, work, but. Um, <laughs> so he's like, let's go. And I'm like, yeah. And well, he's like, wait, no, just kidding. Yeah, because uh, I'm teaching a few people <laughs> at, at my work, like, what I know. And so I'm the only one currently at my job that knows how to do certain things. And so I want to pass on that information. And they can, like, they can still ask me questions while I'm gone. And so I'm planning on May just taking off, but hopefully doing some smaller weekend trips leading up to that. Um, but, yeah, ultimately, like, my plan is to buy land, live in this thing back here and just, you know, just live, just, just hang out, me. yeah, so just ha actually own land, uh, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time, and then I want, like in my mind, I'm like, oh, I want to build my own house, I doubt that's what's going to happen, 
you know, like with help from friends and stuff like that, and slowly add on to it. Very small house. Yeah, I mean, we're already used to living small, so why not? Um, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, it's small. It's not too much of an expense. Um, focus on the land first. Get something we really want to like live on. That's what my parents did. Uh, they bought all of this land, seven acres. We live on like the edge of it, um, and so. And uh, yeah, eventually this will be mine, but there's already a house on it. I kind of want to build a house, you know, like have it our own. Do our, like, but make things on our own too, not just have it given to you. Right. And, because I know that's that's something that he's always done is, you know, there's there's some assurance with his family. Like, oh, you know, we have this land, but he's the kind of guy that's like, no, I want to do this on my own. Like, I want to yeah. get my own land and pay for it my own way, that kind of thing, so. I don't want parents like to give me money either. Like it's nice that they're letting us stay on the land for right now while I'm, you know, I was getting back on my feet and all of that. And, well, uh, and we're in this area. Yeah, I mean, like, either way, we're going to be in this stay area. Stay for relatively cheap, if not free. Why not? <laughs> yeah, that was the whole plan. <laughs> Pretty like, awesome. <laughs> like, we were going to buy land earlier, possibly. I was thinking about it, but you know, it's just like financially, I think we're maybe a year out, probably a year, maybe two years, depending. There's a there's a few things there. I'm I'm kind of checking into it, but we thought we were a couple years from buying an RV, and sure. we did it within a year. Yeah. So. Let's go buy some land right now. Um, would you change anything? I think we did change some things. So no, change things as they come up. So like if you see a ball coming at your face, you move to the side, but you don't Do let you it have... hit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you. So yeah. Ball at your face. You yeah. Move. So yeah, if you you move then, it's like you don't think about it after the fact, really. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, like we wanted a bigger couch, so I made a bigger couch. We didn't want a table in there, so we took the table out. <laughs> it's like little things like that. I I don't think I would say, like, we shouldn't get a pool behind. We should get a actual RV, like a self-propelled RV. It's like uh, those decisions, I think we're good. Like, mm-hmm. I like having the truck. The truck's fun. If we would have gotten a, an actual RV... We would have gotten, like, I don't know, a Toyota Prius or a smart car. Change anything. I would make changes as they come up. That's kind of a, a redirect, you know. So no regrets. Just pivoted. Wow. Stop it. Just found out I can do that. <laughs> That's so distracting. Yeah. Um, would I change anything? No one asked you. But, yeah, would you change anything? I asked the question the first time. Oh, you did. I honestly can't think of anything that I would go back and say, let's do this differently. Um, I mentioned to him that I would tell us not to go climbing on that day, but chances are we would have gone anyway. Um, And, I mean, things are going to happen. It could have been a leg, it could have been something else, you know. It could have been some other type of accident or injury. injury. Like, stuff happens. Um, It could have been my arm. Arm would have been way worse, I think. One thing that I think is cool about timing is that had we been in the rental home with all of this happening with his leg and with buzz and everything i don't i mean we would have had to have help financially but the blanket statement is like yeah if we were paying the same rent we were then uh for a house and this happened it's like there's no way we could have made it yeah with what else being paid then it's or with the money that we were both bringing in yeah it's crazy to think about and um like just how how cool the timing is so yeah. i can't think of anything i would change because everything that has happened like even just with the rv like little things um we've learned from it and being in the rv for almost a year now i feel like we've learned so much about just how to live more efficiently um and just kind of how to man- like maneuver this lifestyle and i think that Without traveling, it gave us more time to figure things out slowly rather than trying to figure something out quickly and then traveling. So, I mean, it's as much as I would have liked to have been traveling all of this time, um, it all works out. So, I, I wouldn't change anything. I really wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we, I would have loved to travel more by now. Um, obviously, we talk about that and, you know, our, our you know, subscribers even talk about it. Like, why aren't y'all traveling? Things like that. Ah, yeah, we can I mean, only explain it so many times. Yeah. I mean, it's like we don't I like reminding myself so I don't mind answering it multiple mm-hmm. times. You know, it's like, yeah, we, we could travel right now, but more than likely our funds would keep decreasing and we would be forced back here. Um, or to change jobs or be more desperate about certain things. It's like I want stability too during all of this. Uh, I'm not looking to just go out and hope for the best. 
Um, honestly, I want to make this like a lifestyle, not just like hope it's going to be a lifestyle, like turn a into temporary a temporary thing. Yeah, like it, I could crash and burn and then lose all this. That's the thing. And so um, I'd rather not backtrack any more than I have to. So it's like if it means me st like staying stable and living on my parents' land for a year, year and a half, that's fine. Fun, and I want to travel more, and we are going to travel more, especially starting in May, like I said. So, I'm, I'm forcing that to happen. It's going to be a longer trip, but not a very long trip, if that makes sense. Which will be interesting, because I'm that'll be about a month out from my show. Wait, when's your show? June. Yeah, so it'll be June. right before. So you'll figure out your uh, programming and all that stuff, yeah. But yeah, I just thought it was a really interesting question, and people always ask that type of stuff, like, you could go back and change something about your life when you change it a lot of the time i've found people say no because certain things happen for lessons to be learned you know whether it i mean depending on what it is even if it sucks like his leg yeah. i think we learned a lot during that time and it kind of strengthened our marriage um kind right. of <laughs> well yeah you had to like take care of me you didn't have to i guess Oh. Yeah, I think that kind of about. I just thought it was a good topic to talk about. Pretty much covers it for the question. I mean, we can just keep rambling about stuff. No. Nope. Okay. Well, let's end it there then. <laughs> okay. Well, if you guys have any other topics you want to hear us discuss, feel free to comment below. Other than that, we're gonna go work out, mm. and he's gonna play some music, so I'll include that in Wednesday's video. Mm. That's it. That's all. Yep. Well, have fun out there. Bye, guys. All right. On 14, we get up, okay? Seven. <laughs> 14. Yeah. I thought you were going to get up on 14. <laughs> Ow! You pinched my leg. God, don't hit me again. Will you turn off the camera?